So, out on Blu-ray, like we'll always go the Monday just gone. So they're they're available to buy now, and we'll start with the falling, which you can find in the horror section. Spelled. Oh yeah, you pointed that out, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, in HMV, so, in the horror um, section. The horror, um, the horror. I know you said the horror section is a film directed by. <laughs> the, the, the horror <laughs> section is a film directed by many people, but um, yeah, the fallen film directed by Carol Morley, um, very good British filmmaker. She's made a few other good films before that, but I haven't, I haven't seen any of her stuff before. I saw this. We saw this quite a while ago now. Obviously, April. when it came out, when it came mm-hmm. out back in April, um. Our first thoughts when we came out were wildly mixed. Yeah. Like, I know Joe didn't like it. I know you I, I, kind of liked I was, it. You really I, liked it, actually. I, I, I really liked it, but it was, yeah. it was sort of like an hour later. I was like, why? I, w- I was like, this, is, this isn't very good. However, obviously, six months have passed, and we're not any wiser, but opinions have changed. We're all and half a year older. We're all half... Yeah, I'm, I'm 20 in a month. God, yeah. God, Christ. God I you're feel both, so you're old. 20 in a month. I'm, I feel really... Yeah. God damn. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, God. God. I've still got another like six months. I was young. Well, you were young one. Time to retire. Yeah, it's a film I'm sure, like, Finished. Seniors Club. Yeah. <laughs> finished. Finished show. Finished. <laughs> finished show. The finished show. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, this is just a taste of what you get on the podcast. But, anyway, um, the, yeah, let's, so, keep, let's um, keep this... Uh... Now that time has moved on, we have all got different opinions. Well, I think so anyway. But um, my opinion is that it's very, very good. Mm. And I really, really enjoyed it. In fact, I put it in my honourable mentions, I think, when uh, we did our rundown of the top ten of the year so far, which will, was a podcast episode. You can catch up on that if you want on mixloud.com slash NLJ film show mm-hmm. uh, but um, yeah I mean it's. I mean it's, to be fair they are listening on Mixcloud if they are listening to this yeah. so. uh, but um, it, it basically it's it's sort of it's a very very surreal film that's the best way to put it and um, obviously Macy Williams is the lead she's a, a girl in a board in an all, all girls boarding school crucially mm. um, and basically their school has been hit by this mysterious falling disease which basically leads the girls to faint or collapse spontaneously and uh, that, that it's gripping the school this is happening more and more but uh, it, we don't know if it's actually a falling disease or like a fainting sickness or whether it's just mass hysteria or if it's all of the girls sort of if like a, a sort of a, a, a um, what's the like a sort of it? rebellious union yeah like a like a, like an act of like valor or like yeah. an act of courage togetherness you know like it's, it's like trying to say like no we're not going to stand for this because obviously the, 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 I mean, they're not very they're not fans of their school quite, teachers are quite strict so I guess that's the thing she's got a very um, Missy Williams' character has got a very like treacherous background like um, her, her family's very mixed like strange like well, it's, it's it, the, not, without getting into the details of exactly what the family yeah. entails it, it's Maxine Peake plays this mother she's just agoraphobic she yeah, doesn't agoraphobic. go outside yeah, yeah. yeah. but um, she, she, Macy Williams character is very mysterious as well just like the film itself she's very self-conscious but very um, very um, unassuming of the world around her she's, not, she's very she's very street smart but she doesn't exactly know where she's going obviously it, it is basically about growing up essentially in, mm. in that kind of sense of it you know and there's just a lot about just following these sort of teenage girls as things happen and, you know, it is very much a school environment alongside all the surrealism but I think the the thing that got me the most is just because how dreamlike it is yeah. like that's how it's probably why it's going on me because essentially when, when I came out of the film at first my first impression was this is it's it's out there enough for me to have enjoyed watching it on there, but I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to dissect you take it, this. You take it for face value like, when you first see it. I'm not sure if like, I'm going to yeah yeah. I'm not going to like dissolve it into the parts that it should be or broken mm. down into the parts that you should admire sort of um, anonymously on it on its own. You know, if if you can put that, if you can look at them anonymously and just think, well, this is the part that I, I enjoyed more than that, but this is sort of the part that I didn't really understand. But obviously, the surrealism definitely is the big the big benefit for me essentially because it was just it it is it's refreshing to see something British. That is just so out there, you know. Mm-hmm. Like it is, it is telling like a, a proper good story. You know, it's it's a very talented cast. You know, a very an an, an excellent story. But obviously, it gets obviously that it, it's more important for the atmosphere and the tone, essentially, in the story at points. But it does have a very strong story, obviously. Um, the poor poor Peck, so um. Maureen Peck was it? Maxine Peak. Maxine Peak. Could yeah. be more on. Um, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry yeah, I'm, I'm probably butchering that, but um, yeah, uh, she's a very strong um, role as the mother. Obviously, her her storyline develops and um, a really really excellent ending. I've got to say, like yeah. really really sensational ending involving the mother and Macy Williams. But really, I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't answer any it doesn't answer all the questions you have. It, it keeps keeps you guessing, keeps you wondering what's going on. You never find out what actually was going on in terms of this fallen disease. You know, it it it, it doesn't 
it doesn't assume that the viewers are dumb or need their hands held. It, it lets them answer their own questions. It lets them fill in their own blanks and interpret in their own ways. And that's what I think was their biggest strength, alongside that surrealistic feel and the fact that it is, you know, a, a talented British female director who has made this sort of escapist world, I guess, into, for Macy Williams' character to escape into and the audience as well. So I think it's a real accomplishment in the end. It is. Uh, Joe, when you, we first saw it, you weren't that struck on it, by the no. sound of things. No, no, not really. Have you thought about it since? No, no. I literally have not thought about yeah. this film once mm-hmm. since, because I just still don't really like it yeah. at all. No way, okay, fair enough. No it, just, it doesn't... Nah. No. Not at all. No. Nah. I don't know. It's, I mean, uh, yeah, all that ambiguity's fine and yeah. stuff, but I mean, I mean, maybe if it is a subjective thing, then fair enough. If, mm. if, it, if that... Yeah, I mean, if, I if it is mainly going for that, then it's just I think it's just me. Then it's just yeah. a case of it doesn't literally the scenes that do you know the falling and all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff in the ambiguity just doesn't connect. Yeah. Doesn't I, like, I suppose, literally. I it, we, we did sort of like sort of snigger like, when that happened, like sort of just sort of like because it is yeah. it, it is like, sort of, the the rate that, that happened towards the end. It's just like they're falling like flies. You just like mm-hmm. it is quite it is quite sort of funny. It's just I mean obviously with films like this, you have to have an urge to want. To find out more, or want to yeah. figure it out, or but I just I don't know. It just doesn't for me. It just didn't work. I don't want to find out more. I don't want to know more. Yeah. I mean, that's not that's not anything to do like bad with the film, obviously. But it's just with me. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I'm not interested at all. I don't know why. Yeah. As soon as I think, I think of those scenes and everything, I just. Yeah. I was I was closer to you in that opinion when I came up, but I mean, it's just it's sort of. There's no like, on me. Th- There's no interest or want to know more I don't know why that's when I think of the fall and that's all I think I just mm. I just can't really yeah. meh I don't know that's a fair point you know it is yeah. I, 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 I should articulate I, I, more if I can but I, I just really no, no, can't it's, 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 I just, it's fine to have a, I an indifferent I, I literally haven't thought about this film once since I've seen it oh well fair enough um, I, no I, I, when I came out I was like I liked it but I can't figure out why because I spent the whole film really confused but I like being confused I like having to sort of piece things together in yeah. my mind so no, I I, I enjoyed it. Now I probably will watch it again just to sort of see if I can figure it out. It's it, but same with um, what was it watched recently where you didn't really need to know. Oh yeah, the gift. You the kind gift, of you yeah. kind of don't need to know what the ending was. You kind of just happy to be ambiguous. Yeah. You, mm-hmm. it, 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 like, that's not really the point. The fact that did he, mm-hmm. but um, that, that was really weird. Nice to consider what the actual ending is. Yeah, no, I liked it, and I'll probably search out again. It's out now on Blu-ray and DVD. And it's in the horror section if you are looking for it. It's a recommend from us. Definitely not a horror though. But no, mm-hmm. Joe, recommend. No, no, no. Not really. Fair enough. I mean, it, it is good that British films are getting weird, but yeah. I just didn't, I don't I mean, know. That why. was I remember that was your initial reaction to seeing like the British films are getting really weird. Like mm-hmm. which, they were, which, which is good, but it's just rewind like Duke of Burgundy, yeah. which is like one of my favorites of the year. That, that had a lot of similarities to the Fallen, didn't it? And the sort of surrealistic feel of that. Yeah. The strange. I don't uh, know. I don't know. I don't, that's yeah. another one I wasn't really. Struck I don't, about. I don't a, want to talk about. Anymore. That's another just, one I wasn't like, really. Struck like about either. When, when I think back to certain scenes and everything, there's like, you know, what ambiguity. You want to learn more. You want yeah, to yeah. investigate. Yeah. Like when I think of certain scenes, like there's just in my head, there's just a stoppage where I just like was in my gut. I just feel like bump no, meh. I I can't describe it. I just don't. I, yeah, I kind like I kind, I kind of know what you mean. I, I kind of felt I like just, that, I, I kind of felt like that watching the film, but I've thought about it more. I've been like, oh, I just, kinda... maybe if I watch it again, we'll see. But for now, just nah. Really I, I, I'm interested to watch it again now that we've had this conversation. Actually, like every t- every time I think of certain scenes, I scrunch my face like, mm, eh, yeah, nah, yeah. Co- eh, nah. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I mean, it's, not, it's not it's not like vacation terrible or oh, anything God, like that. No. It's just it's, it's not it's not, not child forty four terrible. No, it's which we're just about to get to. it's just for me. This I don't know. It might be I don't know what it is. Yeah. I really just don't know. I really. And then any time I try to figure out or find out, I just I can't be bothered and I move on to other stuff I, I really don't know fair enough fascinating uh, it's out now on DVD if you do fancy it anyway we'll